type of secretion shown by the gland as depicted in the following figure the options are merocrine holocrine apocrine and paracrine so this is a question that is basically based on the mode of the secretion and that is based on the classification of the gland based on the mode of secretion actually so if we try to classify the various gland based on mode of secretion we have three important categories one is your merocrine gland then we have your apocrine gland and then we have the third one that is the holocrine gland okay so we'll be discussing all these uh, simultaneously we'll be discussing these so i'll just show you the figure here so if you see this is the merocrine apocrine and holocrine and i'll be giving you the differences here so in the merocrine the secretion is by the method of exocytosis so there will be secretion that will be taking by the exocytosis and you will see that the whole cell is intact here in case of merocrine you will see the whole cell is intact here and you can see the vacuoles are coming here that contains the secretory part and these vacuoles come out through the process of the exocytosis so these are coming out through the exocytosis but the whole cell is intact here right now what are the example of this particular kind of secretion so the glands we secrete this is going to be the sweat gland then we have uh, the similar kind of uh, secretion in the salivary glands so these two are very important examples for the exam as well now we'll come to the apocrine so we have seen in the merocrine excretion is by exocytosis but in case of apocrine the secretory granules are collected in the apex if you see here so these secretory granules are going to collect towards the apex now this is the apex okay and these are pinched off okay uh, with, with the whole apical portion of the cell so the whole apical portion of the cell will be pinched off or that will be separated here okay so all the uh, granules are going to come close to the apex and this whole area is going to be separate so that is called as the apocrine that means here the apical part the apical part is going to separate or pinched off from the main cell right so the cell is not intact here cell is not intact right so what will write here the granules will come granules accumulate near apex and there will be pinching off of the apical portion of the cell so the whole cell is not intact but the apical portion generally pinches off from here now its examples are important so examples of the apocrine gland can be remembered with a mnemonic that is map m here stands for the memory glands a here stands for the atypical sweat glands now these atypical sweat glands generally sweat glands are secreted uh, with the help of the method is basically the merocrine but yes there are certain atypical sweat glands which are seen in axilla axilla and these are also seen in pubis so p here is going to be your pubis right so axilla and pubis are going to be two important atypical sweat glands that will be secreting through the apocrine method then we have the holocrine holocrine holo itself indicate whole that means the whole cell is going to burst maybe right so the whole cell basically disintegrates and releases its whole content so here the whole cell is going to disintegrate and release the whole content out of the cell right so uh, the base here is made up of stem cells so how will be regenerating these cells so the base of these cells is generally made up of the stem cells or glands basically the glands which are going to perform like this so the glands will have a base that will be made up of stem cells and these keep on regenerating because there is a lot of uh, bursting of these cells right so a lot of cells mass is going to lose here and that's why we have to keep on replacing the disintegrated cells so this kind of uh, example of this kind of secretion is seen in the sebaceous gland that is seen in the sebaceous gland so i hope you are clear with the merocrine 
apocrine and holocrine method of the function here. So, if you see here, these are the cells, this is a gland and these are the various cells of this gland and you will be able to see here, there is exocytosis of these granules, here also, okay, here also, here also and even here you can see and at the same time you can see these cells are very much intact, there is no problem with that and you are not seeing the disintegration of the apical part or the complete bursting of the cell that means it is going to be since the cells are intact and there is exocytosis that is being performed here so it is going to be your merocrine mode of secretion that is seen in the sweat and salivary gland it is seen in sweat and salivary gland so answer to this question is going to be your merocrine